Hello and thanks for watching another episode of ARFCOM News, your source for the finest 2A propaganda brought to you by TNVC.com. Today I want to tell you about how control freaks are already tripping over themselves to pass the sort of draconian restrictions that racist loser in New York called for in his manifesto. Call me crazy, but maybe it's not a great look to advocate for the same policies a literal terrorist is pushing. It's a bold strategy, Cotton. Let's see if it pays off for him. Tammy Duckworth introduced a bill designed to make it harder for certain undesirables to exercise their God-given right to self-defense, family defense, and community defense. If Senate Bill 4184 ever made it out of committee, you would need to get a federal permission slip to buy a gun in any state and it would maintain a registry for future confiscation. But extremist nonsense like this never gets out of committee, so I'm gonna go out on a limb here and predict this one won't either. But dumb ideas like this shift the Overton window, and even a stopped clock is right twice a day, so Keep an eye on Senate Bill 4184 and make sure your senators know permits are an unconstitutional affront to human rights that disproportionately harm the poor and minorities without any measurable public safety benefit. They are intended, like all gun control, to keep the lower classes in their place. If you'd like to ask Tammy why she hates poor people, you can reach her at 202-224-2854. make more money? Sure we all do. The Sacramento PD will be handing out $50 gift cards in exchange for guns this Saturday at the station from noon to 5 p.m. They don't want your ID and won't be asking any questions. They do claim they reserve the right to limit the number of gift cards an individual can receive. So if you're planning on making some plumber special shotguns, you might want to carpool with some buddies so each of you can get a card just so you can buy enough gas to get to the police station. I mean, how much does 50 bucks get you in California stand these days? And according to the flyer, the guns must be in your trunk. So if you don't have a car, go be poor somewhere else. Why? Because them, that's why. No matter what they offer, these gun turn-in events never have any effect on crime, but they almost always offer more than what it costs to build a simple functional firearm. The flyer says guns must be fully functional, and I don't really know how they plan to confirm that given they won't be asking any questions and you're not supposed to bring ammo. But I think pipe shotguns are probably going to be the preferred currency here. The ATF <laughs> claimed they want to bring processing times down to 90 days with their new e-forms system. But do you know how to tell when a Fed is lying? His lips move. <laughs> In all fairness, they're actually doing a pretty decent job of keeping their promise given typical government incompetence. That is, about one-third of the applications processed since e-forms came online were finished in less than 90 days, so that's some progress, and Silencer Shop reports one application was approved in two days. So, I mean, it's great they're processing their unconstitutional extortion money more quickly, but I shouldn't have to seek the Crown's pleasure for a whisper pickle in the first place. And if we insist on a background check, it shouldn't take any longer than Nix does, especially if you've already paid for a stamp in the past. And the AFT issued a cease and desist letter to JSD Supply advising them to stop selling 80% kits. The key part of the letter is this nugget of barely literate copy pasta where they instruct JSD to Cease and desist the sale of the full set of component parts necessary to produce or readily convert it into a functioning firearm, whether in a single transaction or in multiple structured transactions. Yes, I'm nitpicking on the failure to convert the tense of the copied phrase. You people are supposed to be college graduates, right? Also, it appears they are taking issue with the sale of a kit even in separate transactions. I'm curious how far the AFT is willing to commit to this idea though. I mean, are they saying you can't just be cute and try to split up a single sale into multiple invoices? Or are they trying to say JSD can't sell a jig to a person if 
that same person bought an 80% lower a year ago. Or maybe they'll even go so far as to say a company can't sell jigs if they also sell 80% lowers. What do you guys think? How far will the AFT take this? Hey, did y'all see this story about the drone smuggling guns into Kanukistan? I know it's not exactly shocking. Banning stuff creates a market and enterprising individuals will always find ways to meet demand. I'm sure this has been going on for some time, but this story sticks out just a little bit because Ontario police actually recovered the drone and the payload this time. A man was out walking his dog in the early morning. He scared off the guy who was probably waiting to retrieve the package. When the sun came up, the police found a very large and very expensive six-rotor DJI M600 with a bag of blasters hanging from it, tangled up high in the trees. Cops figured the smugglers piloted the drone from the Michigan side of the St. Clair River. It would have been about a half mile round trip, leaving them without a whole lot of safety margin on the battery for a heavy load like this. I particularly like how they're willing to spend several G's on the drone, but spare no expense for the plastic grocery bags, electrical tape, and 99 cent store carabiners. I also like how the Ontario police claim the 11 handguns have a value of 22,000 Canadian pesos. Let me do the math here. So you can sell a used Glock 26 for two grand in Kanukistan? Now, I'm not saying they're lying, and I understand those are itty bitty Canadian dollars, not big tough Americanski dollars, but damn, if that's true, I may need to make a run for the border. Stop off at a gun turn-in event along the way, buy a big old bag of guns for double what the cops are paying, then lob them across the river with my homemade trebuchet. For legal purposes, this is a joke. Hey friend, do you like pews and pew-related things? Do you want to help us keep delivering you pure, uncut American pew propaganda at the low, low price of $3.99? We literally couldn't make this show if it weren't for the generous support of TNVC.com, purveyors of the finest non-GMO night vision devices handcrafted from fine Corinthian leather in the old world style. They also have mounts, lights, training, swag, and all sorts of other free range gear to make you the bump in the night. And remember, if you aren't subscribed to our channel, you make puppies cry and Captain America is disappointed. I love you.